Good evening ladies and gentlemen, this is Baker Bakertron, back to bring you yet more homeworld multiplayer. Today we will be having a 1v1 on the map Subjugate Your Friends, which we've seen plenty of times before. I will try to look for more games with different maps if I can, but I'm starting to run out of recordings now. So, we have down in this corner, the green player will be Mikey one two three three two one two two three two and I'm just gonna call him Mikey for short and his opponent the uh, purple Kushan player is G45 one two three of the clan SLS who I'm just gonna call G45 it's it's just gonna be a lot simpler that way and a lot quicker I think we've seen him before in one of my earlier casts and we've certainly seen people from the clan SLS before but this is a new... this is the first time we've seen Mikey one blah 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 so. and as we can already see people are thankfully starting to gear up towards the fight, or at least Mikey is he has research ship in the centre scouting out and he's just moving his ships towards the middle so we can harvest at the moment he has all well, those two harvesters that's three harvesters and his opponent let's see has four harvesters and the resource controller and that's gonna make G45 it is G45? yes, it's gonna make G45 a lot more efficient in his harvesting and should give him a, a distinct advantage at the start at least but I expect there to be a yep there we go resource controller out for Mikey uh, it was just slightly delayed in fact Mikey seems to be slightly behind on quite a few things he has one support frigate and his opponent has two so maybe he's just not being quite quick enough on the building or the research or something Actually, I don't think you need to do any research to get any of these ships out, but... He's also gone for defenders, which, as we all know, sometimes work out really, really well. you just got to keep them out of the firing line. And it, he does seem to have a, to put out a lot of ships early on, so maybe... Maybe he made more scouts than his opponent, and G45 went for the research and... No, not the research, we went for the economy and the support figure advantage instead. So we can see how those two different styles play out, perhaps. It's really difficult to tell because I can't get any information on what players are currently building or researching or stuff like that. I can... Oh no, I can't even see the resources anymore. I should fix that. So... This... Large... Corvette, well it's not large, just medium-ish Corvette wall here is actually going to be pretty powerful simply because there's two support frigates it's about one support frigate for each four or five Corvettes and that's that's going to give them a lot of staying power they've also, as we can currently see so Mikey is there forced to do some kamikaze attacks and he does get a couple of kills I think there's five Corvettes left, but he just sacrificed about 20 scouts for five for maybe killing three Corvettes. And now here we can see our G45 scouts coming in. Will they be more successful with the kamikaze? It's going to be almost. There we go, they get one. Now there's only one support figure here for them, so I, ex I suspect they were slightly more successful but it's not enough to swing it into G45's favour yes Mikey is still in this fight he still has he hasn't the Corvette Wars are roughly even and Mikey has these defence fighters which as we can see are shooting from quite a long way away and they're not being targeted down so they can just spend the entire fight shooting slowly and do quite a bit of damage over time. Meanwhile, G45 has now got, I think that's heavy corvettes. 
so that's gonna help him out a little. And he's got so many support frigates now, this Corvette war down here isn't gonna die. They've almost got their own support frigate each. It's not quite that much, it's, it's one frigate for two. And that's just, that's just gonna keep it going quite a long time. However, these support frigates may not be surviving much longer. We can, one of them's taken quite a bit of fire. They could heal each other up, but there's also this research ship moving in, moving very close, and it gets one down. Will he get a second one? It's only slightly damaged. It's so close to killing the, the one above it, it just needs to move. There we go, there we go, there we go. It's two down. That's three support frigates down. And now... Mikey is in a difficult... left and it could be focused down so quickly if G45 just turned turned on it for just a few seconds he could completely kill it, completely wipe out any chance Mikey has of researching anything apart from what he already has which is like Corvettes and Defenders basically so if he, if he just focuses this down right now it'll mean Mikey basically has to win in the next few minutes before uh, and we're going to like yes if G45 kills this now, Mikey has to win the next few minutes with what he has, because eventually uh, G45 will just get out to far better ships, and more to go and call better soul frigates and all that stuff. The question is, does he realise that? Does he realise how dead this is? It doesn't appear to be being shot at the moment, and it is admittedly quite hard to tell how close to death it is, just from the visuals, so it looks like G45 is going to be still focusing on this Corvette force here, but they've now got the support figure advantage, so so they're just not dying, and neither of these defenders, there's 13 defenders out, and whether you think they're a good ship or not, that's still quite a lot of firepower that they can throw into this fight. They they're not. They're, they're basically safe. Because they're just not being targeted down. And I think now uh, G45 is starting to struggle to keep up in the fight. He's sending, he keeps on sending in these reinforcements in one or two at a time. And he's getting a nice force of support figures up again, but he just doesn't have enough of anything, anything really. Doesn't even have enough to heal. Heal his last Corvette, so now he's got to get out of there with the support figure. And technically, I don't think Mikey has enough firepower to kill another ship yet. Defenders, fairly low health, and can't really dodge the mothership fire. Apart from that, he's in, he's in a good position, he's in a good spot. This resourcing operation is quite vulnerable. This resourcing operation over here isn't going to last too much longer. In fact, I think he might have just mined that area out. And he can see that. So really... He basically has to resist the temptation for, for going straight for the mothership. He needs to kill the resourcing operation, not the asteroids directly as these defenders appear to be doing. But killing this off and killing the others off before well, at the same time as he's building up a large enough force to take on the mothership. If he goes in against the mothership with just this, he's going to take casualties, and that would leave uh, G45 with a chance to get back into this game. And what G45 needs to do is get out some decent technology. I always say this every game, gravel generators, defense field figures. But he can't build defense field figures. So that's. You know, that, that. He's going to come in with a fairly nice Corvette war. Lots of support frigates. I believe that's a multi-gun Corvette there. But see if, if there's now heavy Corvettes out for Mikey, and if he just killed this when he had the chance, perhaps they might not be out yet.
So it's going to be the sort of thing it wouldn't be it. And that's just going to start to spell the end of... Well, okay, fair. I think the G45 is out of this fight before, but the, the sort of thing is just the final nail in the coffin. So, it shouldn't take too long for Mikey to cover this, to clean this up. The sport figure is going to be annoying to kill off, so, because they can heal each other. So again, he's still far better going for some resourcing here, resourcing here, resourcing here. All of that he can hit just to slow down, uh, well, G45's remaining production. I don't think there's a huge amount of G45. It looks like he's going to try to come in again. I mean, he kept his, he got his support figures out of there, he kept them alive. So that's always useful. If you can get a couple of sorts of sort figures out, they are effective against defenders and corvettes. But there's a lot of heavy corvettes, so it's, it's hard to tell. It's one light corvette, one heavy corvette, and one multicon corvette remaining. And we can just see Mikey now going after the resourcing operation. Uh, these are all fairly slow craft. There's two skirts and two, two light corvettes. So they, they could possibly make it there quite quickly, but the defenders are slow, the heavy corvettes are slow, they sort of think it's slow and it's turned around. So Mikey may be moving in for the kill now. We certainly get a nice 3D fight. Out of it. This this is going to be G45's final heroic stand, unless he gets something amazing out in the next few minutes. This is pretty much going to be it. And as I said, he does have a lot of spore frigates, but so does his enemy. Oh, he he has four to. Uh, Mike is three, but he just doesn't have anything else to back them up with. And there we go, that was the last of the uh, Corvette's gone. It's a defense field figure, as if it's needed, and another sort of figure. This is just going to be able to protect all these strikecraft and defenders and whatnot from basically every single thing the weather ship can fire. And every single thing the five support frigates can fire, and every th single thing these three corvettes can fire. So, yeah, looks like uh, he's still sticking in the fight, he hasn't given up yet, but I think right about now, he, he should have realised that this is, this is as good as over, unless the missile destroyer comes out right now. Normal destroyer wouldn't be that useful again because of this. I think that shuts down the be normal destroyers, heavy guns, but not, not its iron cannons, but a missile destroyer. Missiles go straight through the defense field for that. All thing that's coming in. There's really. It's just time to sit back and watch the pretty explosions. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to increase the resolution much at all so you're not watching it in HD which is a shame but one day I hope to get a job and get a new computer and then do these battles in glorious HD and then Gearbox will re-release Homeworld and it'll look even better but that's going to be a while away so I, I think I'm gonna call it congratulations to Mikey123321222 and commiserations to G45123 of the clan SLS. Uh, thank you for watching. Ooh, there's an iron can figure out. Well, we, we'll stick around for that to so see if we can do anything. But thank you for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, comment, whatever. Uh, hopefully, if it all goes well, I'll be able to re add sound effects in on my video on Friday. Oh, I, but I can't guarantee that. Uh, until then, thank you for watching. And now we play the waiting game. 
mean, you, you've got to hand it to G45. He's, he's sticking in the game. He's, he's fighting to the very end. I think he's trying to ram something with this in revenge. And he might. He, I, I do believe he actually could cause some damage on those two support feeds. But it's just. It's a heroic, hopeless, doomed fight. Yeah. I mean, two iron cannon figures is pretty good. And they, they're, they're doing surprisingly well against these corvettes. They're actually managing to hit them. But I, I just... Unless we see this open and the destroyer pop out in the next 10 seconds, this game is over. But I, I don't like ending it early, unless it gets really dull and boring. Even though I have nothing more to say, I mean, it looks nice. Homeworld has always looked nice, even now Homeworld still looks nice. What more can you say? Even this resolution. Now, are we going to have to wait for the mothership to die? Well, that's, uh, that's happening. It's not going to last long. Yet another iron cannon kind of figure coming out. <sighs> He's just throwing away the lives of his crew. I kind of think it's for everybody now. We can see if you. I don't know if you can see this, but there's sort of like orange circles. That's the uh, defense field figure deflecting various shots. We can see the effect, the area of effect. Almost, it's covering almost everything. So, now that's dead, he's immune to everything, pretty much, that the mothership can throw at it. The mothership could do some ramming, but I don't think that's going to happen. dum de dum de dum de dum dum de dum de dum de dum I, I, I think he still has hope that these ships are going to survive. Maybe win it for him. Oh no, he's got an he's got an assault figured out, which can't actually shoot anything in the sphere here, and he's going to die very, very quickly. But hopefully, that'll convince him to leave the game. I'm sorry to say that, but I've completely run out of things to say, and I'm just stalling, as you can probably tell. The assault forget is so close to dying. Come on, that's got to be it now. You can't have anything else building. You can't think you, you, you've still got a chance. You... The controller has just gone down. No, the collector has just gone down. There was a collector over here that's dead as well. Fingers crossed. This could be the end of this nightmare. There we go. Thank you for watching and goodbye.